working on a gorilla here. I'm kind of letting the tool uh, do some blackening for me. Here's what we're doing. This guy right here, just the face. I'm uh, making a uh, handle for a cane, uh, purple heart on the end, and this is Manzanita from the area. We're out here on the west coast of Oregon. And this was a uh, an order that I'm doing for a couple. what I for, refer to as an eyeball maker and you can see the uh, I'll brush this out a little bit knock the carbon out of it you get built up and crusted with carbon but that is a tool that I have made I call them an eyeball maker and it's a negative shape of an eyeball that leaves the positive shape of an eyeball behind this is about 900 degrees can see that eye start to take shape now see right down in there and you turn it over 180 degrees and it leaves the exact same burn behind on the other eye this lighter area of color or lighter colored area here is uh, spalting and I had to build that up with crazy glue. I'm gonna have a hard time making it black. Now we're gonna start doing some shaping around the mouth here with uh, the big power tool. Keep your speed down. Dent right in the nose right there. If you're real careful. You can look that baby right in there. Like that. Uh, we got a side profile shot here on this guy. And so it's going to tell us what we have to do to make it. Uh, it's all about finessing the shape what you want it to be. By constantly referencing your photo as you're going, as you're starting to piece out, you'll get the little areas that make the animal look true to life by doing that. See that light area there? That's going to be a problem. It's alright though. I'll 
I'll uh, figure it out. You got a hump right there? That's what you want to get for the old gorilla look. The high eyebrow. So push that and make that uh, exacerbated. And I socket is comes out. All right, now you got kind of a shelf here. Come down a little bit and back up. A little bit of an indentation. Back up. Going all grilly here. Okay, basic gorilla features, all pretty much placed where you want. You can, have, can move it around a little bit, you know. You can see inside the nostril here, it's a little bit off. Just a little bit. And then from the other side. You can measure this. If you want to. Uh, it's got a quite the curl. And the lip. And the back side. There you go. Now that's the basics. You see that right there? Remember, it's half the size. So, there you go. You know, can get that in there or not. But uh, that's what you want. This mouth, uh, and the twist came up on each side. Now, remember, you got indentations. Study your photograph. Since this is all black, friction burns, or friction burns at this point, are good. Since it's all black, you literally can start playing around with the darkening and it'll give you a better look at where you're headed just by torching it out here. The hair is going to be, you burn the hair in. This will push you into uh, the gorilla look that you're looking for. You can see your features starting to come out good. These little micro torches are awesome. Okay, fill up with the uh, butane. Uh, we're gonna do the ears now. All right, half 
is half. So you go right from the center here, and you pulled your measurement off in the uh, original. A lot of times I'll just take and do a full circle. What that does is it helps tell you if you are off in your curving or not. You see how that looks nice and true going around there? It's pretty elliptical. It's not too bad. Here's the ear. Yeah. If you want to make the ear, or if you want to make it make it right, then get your calipers out and measure. If you do not measure. It will not be right. You can't guess. See how I did that? Really simple. From here to there, you're going to be in the same place or really close. Uh, this has to go back in a little bit further from what I can see. I need a little bit more of a shelf. Let's do that right now. Establish your position. Make sure. And that's where it was right there. There we go. You can guess a little bit. You don't have to be exactly exact. But you want, if you do this one that way, then start out in approximately the same place. It's about an eighth of an inch. You can tell. Here's your hole. Right out in the same place. Like that. And there's your ear. Carve around the outside of the ear. Uh, make your point for the inside in line with that little uh, with the uh, set screw I change the set screw out to a Allen wrench because it lasts a lot longer than one they give you in the tool turn it around 180 You have to apply pretty good pressure. And 
there you go. Back at it here. Start shaping in the, or blackening in around the eyes and the nose now. And this is full of wrinkles. And so, just kind of wrinkle it up. Just a bunch of little burnt cuts coming around the eye. Don't worry about the eye either right now. You're going to finish the eyeball off at the end with the eyeball maker. So you can correct any problems that are around it. Okay. Side here. Oops. I'm going to have to take that back a little bit further. Something that might help you is called a profiler. This is a profiler. What it does is this. Okay. Do is take this after you got your profile where you want it to be. Go try to go to the center of the piece and take this and draw around it so you know where you were and where you want to go. And then you put it on the other side and see how close you are. See, I'm pretty close. Pretty close. It'll bring this jawbone in a little bit more. So we're going to go to this side and push in like that and try to make this side like that side. So it's got to go in a little bit right there. Go around the chin. It's off a little bit. No, we need to go to here. Up. We're going to do the same thing on this side. And trim that back on this ear a little bit. Let's bring the ear out a little bit. start doing the hair. We're going to use a spin tool. Turn that baby all the way up on high. And the friction of the tool is what burns the wood. These are micro saws that I've made. And with practice, you can make very realistic hair. Remember, each hair 
is an individual. So, just let the hair flow. Now, remember, 180 out from where it was. Okay, you got the gist. Uh, I'm going to do some of this and then I'll be back. Bye bye. As you can see, I'm just finishing this uh, up here. We made up of little tiny micro rows, and they're uh, more or less what I call a broken pattern. If you try to make it into a pattern, then it looks contrived, it doesn't look natural. So the rows overlap go back and break it up so it doesn't look like a row even though it'll appear as a row but it'll be natural be naturalized what I'm doing here is just skipping around to break up the pattern Now, I take a little wire brush. Go. Gorilla. Uh, we're going to start over here. Okay. Yesterday, uh, you guys watched me uh, working on a gorilla. Kind of looks like me in a lot of ways. If I had more hair. <laughs> anyway, here it is. You make out the feature or not. And it's on the cane. She wanted a little thing on the back, so she put it around her wrist. And 
the rest of the cane. This was a redo. I'm not sure what kind of wood it is, but there you go. Gorilla head cane. See you next time.